Thank everybody for joining us this afternoon for this important press conference in regards to the proposed privatization of BC Transit Services. I'm joined today by uh, fellow colleagues from both the city and uh, county level, uh, City Council President Terry Renia, County Broome County Legislator Jason Garner, uh, along with members of the Broome County Transportation Advocacy Group. Uh, who have joined together today to express our concerns about the proposed privatization of BC Transit Services. Just to give you a brief synopsis of some of our concerns, uh, one of the concerns we have when you have private companies that take over public services like transportation, the, the bottom line is cost and profit and not necessarily the service for the uh, constituency. And so that is a major concern. Uh, another concern we have is what are the impacts of privatizing the service? How is it gonna impact the contracts the county currently has with uh, Binghamton City School District, with um, Binghamton University, Broome Community College? Our, our first speaker, is uh, City Council President Terry Renia, uh, who also has been uh, a longtime advocate for public transportation and have we all have been working diligently to provide this quality service and access to it for our constituents. So I would now like to bring up uh, City Council President Terry Renia, who expressed the reasons of her concern about privatizing this important service. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Um, you know, we in, on City Council are the first line representatives for the residents of the city. And for so many of them, they, you know, associate public transportation with the city of Binghamton. And they reach out to us with their public transportation concerns, whether it's the uh, cuts in scheduling, the increases in fare reads, in part. Whereas the Broome County Public Transit service serves the transportation needs of thousands of county residents covering an area of approximately 80 square miles, and whereas municipalities have encountered several problems after privatizing public transportation, including late arrival times, drivers speeding, and drivers using cell phones while driving buses, and whereas private transit companies reduce bus driver wages, attracting inexperienced drivers, leading to potential safety concerns for not only those riding the buses, but for pedestrians. Whereas privatizing public transportation also frequently leads to higher fares and a reduction in service and a general decrease in system quality. Now therefore, the Council of the City of Binghamton resolves that the Council of the City of Binghamton urges Broome County to maintain ownership of the Broome County Public Transit instead of seeking the privatization of such services. So we are just asking the county to simply consider keeping public transportation public. Paratransit is also another important aspect of public transportation and we do have residents not only in the city of Binghamton but in the uh, rural parts of uh, our county that utilize paratransit and again uh, that decision on providing that service would be up to the discrepancy of a private company who may decide to not provide that service. And so, again, accessibility for uh, all of our, our residents across the county is really important. Our next speaker is Pete Chiraldi. He is uh, with the Amalgamated Transit Union, and he's also a member of the Broome County Transportation Advocacy Group. First of all, I'd like to thank City Council for bringing this resolution to surface. I'd also like to thank Jason Garner, who's concerned about public transportation. Again, I'm the President of Business Agent on Malcolm Mater Transit Union Local 1145 here in Binghamton. I represent the uh, bus drivers, the mechanics, but most of all, I represent the public. We first hand seen privatization in other areas like Nassau County and New York weren't privatized just the cost going up and escalated. Cities like Savannah, Georgia, as a county-run facility, now are going and privatized, are going bad. We first-hand see privatization doesn't work. I seriously don't think it's going to work in Broome County. I think the public is the one that's going to hurt. It's important for people to contact uh, the county executive office and also our county legislators, and they can be contacted at 778 2131. Also, uh, to find out more information about this issue, I highly encourage people to participate and come to the Broome County Transportation Advocacy Group meetings. They meet every third Tuesday of each month at the Southern Tier Independence Center on the east side of Binghamton. Well, I think the county executive said nothing is off the table when it comes to BC Transit. And uh, that was a pretty loud, you know, that message was very loud and clear. Nothing's off the table. Um, I, none of us, at least I wasn't, in a district that uh, probably more people than any other legislative district in Broome County where people depend on BC Transit. Uh, I never saw the RFP. I heard about it in the media. 
like I think everybody else did. So um, what we're concerned is basically what the county executive said, that nothing is off the table. And um, you've heard our concerns about that, and we hope that she changes her mind. This is the city council's first time raising concerns about public transportation and access. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, we, we raised a concern when there were proposed changes to the schedule uh, uh, for BC Transit. We heard from our constituents who had concerns about access. So this is not our first time bringing up this issue about the importance of public transportation. And as I mentioned earlier, we had our previous uh, school superintendent come to council and give a presentation with students who talked about the fact that they have real issues with access public transportation and it's impacting their ability to get to school so these are real changes that have happened just with the the current uh, changes that have been made with BC Transit so now we're going to add on top of that the potential privatizing which leads to other uh, devastating impacts and so we're saying we need to reconsider our methods of really trying to find cost savings we need to bring people to the table that are most impacted by this issue it's a bigger issue about the importance of cooperation and so you can't on one hand ask for uh, your municipal communities to come together and support you again the county isn't just this arbitrary entity it's made up of municipalities so the city of Binghamton town of Union Vestal so it's important that the other decision makers that impact the county are brought to the table along with the residents Privatizing our police and fire departments and we shouldn't be privatizing public transportation I am not going to support a proposal that will compromise the ability of our residents to earn a paycheck, access health care, and get a good quality education. I'm not going to support a proposal that puts profits over people. This proposal was submitted without informing the public. County legislators, the riders, transit workers, and the rest of the public were all in the dark about this. That's not good government. We deserve better. I urge the county executive to rethink this decision. Instead of giving up control, let's roll up our sleeves and meet regularly with the riders, with the transit workers, with the local school and businesses and community organizations. Let's work together to develop the most efficient and accessible public transportation system we can make for our Broome County residents. Thank speakers you. are uh, members of the Broome County Transportation Advocacy Group. Uh, they are riders, they are also bus drivers, and as County Legislator Garner indicated, when we're making these type of decisions, we really need to reach out to the people who are most impacted by those decisions, especially on uh, issues such as public transportation. So our first speaker is Susie Link, and she is a member of the Broome County Transportation Advocacy Group. Susie? Good afternoon. First, I want to thank Terry and City Council for coming up with this resolution, and I hope that the county actually reads it. Transportation is very important for folks just like myself and the people I represent. I work full time, and the one big thing that we missed in our you know, education and employment was also shopping. How many people in the city go out from Binghamton out to Walmart and Vestal, or all the new shops that are out there? Personally, I used to shop there all the time, I stopped doing that because it takes me an hour and a half to go one way because of all the cuts to transit that we unfortunately do have in the system. Private visitation is, I'm trying to get the right word I want to use, it's not public. And if it's not public, then people like myself and you, we don't have a say on how it's going to be operated. They make the decisions, they will decide what's going to make a profit and what is it? Hello. I've been riding the bus since uh, November last year after having a car accident and I lost my vehicle. I've been relying on public transportation. I noticed when the bus schedules are changed, that the times and locations are changed, it's, it's a big impact. It really impacts uh, what time I can get up to get to work in the morning. I've got to get up earlier and earlier. And not only that, but as a deaf person, there's events that I would like to go to that involve the deaf community that I can't go because the bus service ends at 6 p.m. and these activities don't end until later in the evening. So I can't participate in the community fully. And if the bus system and transportation becomes privatized, services will be cut more, and that is my biggest concern. Thank you. 
Public transportation really is the circulatory system of our community. It helps connect residents to economic development, recreation, to really have a better quality of life. And quite frankly, developers look at uh, transportation as an important indicator in making decisions on to invest in your community. And so again, we just want to encourage the county to not privatize this important public service. I think that's probably been you know, one of the more frustrating aspects of this for me. As I said, you know, the county yeah, well, recently passed a resolution at the county's request um, in support of their land bank legislation. Well, and we think that's a great plan. Uh, uh, but I think you know, the resolutions that city council passes are a way for us to be a voice for our constituents. And I think if you're going to ask us to do it, then you need to be willing to hear it, even if it's something you don't want to hear. So that's one aspect of it. But another aspect of it is if they continue to face challenges in our county, in our community, the best way to solve them is to work together. And certainly uh, there's been no spirit of cooperation here. Sure. Well, we do have a couple of grocery stores within the city, let me say that. Um, but not on the north side and not in other parts of the city. And it is a challenge. I mean, it's, a cha it's challenging enough to try and provide groceries on public transportation. But, uh, you know, for folks who, for whom this could become a major thing, it, food access is a huge thing. I would just encourage people, as Councilwoman Webb did, to reach out to your county legislature, reach out to the county executive's office, make sure uh, that, that folks know how many people rely on this, tell them your stories, urge them to, to reconsider. Some things need to remain public, and public transportation will be one of those things.